the first time she saw him. She was sitting in the park on her lunch break. He was playing frisbee with his German shepherd. He was gorgeous. Tall, with green eyes and tousled black hair. Sweat glinting off of his caramel skin. When he pulled his t-shirt up to wipe off his face, she was certain that she had never seen a more amazing man in her life. She recognized him from a local bookstore. Her lunch was over too soon. And as her eyes took one last longing look at this beautiful man, she turned to go. That evening, the vision of his smiling face haunted her mind. She figured, what would it hurt to find out more about him? She was sure that he would be married, or gay, or both. And once she knew that, she would be able to put him out of her mind for good. She googled the bookstore and discovered its website, which is where she discovered not only did he work at the bookstore, he owned it. The bookstore was in the plaza just around the corner from her apartment. After stalking his Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, she discovered that he lived three blocks away from the park that she had seen him in. She had studied everything on his social media, trying to find some way to strike up a conversation the next time she saw him. Perhaps she should just venture into his bookstore and start talking to him about books and dogs and how much she loved dogs, especially German Shepherds. She simply could not sleep the rest of the night. She sat in her bed, thinking about what she would wear, what she would do with her hair, how she would laugh and smile, ways to be coy and attract his attention. She just knew this was the man she would spend the rest of her life with. The next morning, she left her apartment early to have coffee at the coffee shop across the street from the bookstore. She put on her best dress and piled her hair on the top of her head in a mop of flowing curls, just like the girls on the bridal websites she had mindlessly flipped through while practicing introducing herself after she had married him. Hello, my name is Alyssa Connor. Hello, my name Mrs. is Alec Connor. Connor. Meet my husband. Alec. Her mind was a blur with excitement. She sat, dreamily musing about their life together, until way past her 9 a.m. start time at work. So she called her boss, saying she was ill and had not slept at all last night. Mr. Beautiful Bookstore Owner ventured in at about 10 a.m. and it was time to go meet the man of her dreams. She paid for her coffee and left. She walked up to the door of the bookstore but could not go in. Instead, she found a bench out of the line of sight of most of the street. She reached into her bag, pulled out a pen and paper, and wrote a sweet little note, telling him that she would love to meet him. She just sat, watching him 
As he smiled and laughed with his customers, clearly most of them had known him for a while. He would be leaving at 6 p.m. And she made her way over to his car and left a note on the windshield wiper. Then she found a secluded place to watch him read the note. He walked to the car, stopped and picked up the note, read it, and looked around, puzzled, then confused. Confusion turned into a big grin, and he reached for his phone as he got into his car. As he drove up, he was talking and laughing on the phone. Was he talking to another woman? Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. She walked home and started thinking of a way to talk to him. She researched books they could talk about. Nothing too common that would be too easy to find anywhere. But nothing so rare that it would be unattainable. She found the perfect book. She changed the picture on her Facebook to that of a German shepherd playing in the grass. Changed her profile to private and proceeded to send a message to the Facebook page of the store. He replied quickly that he would work on finding that particular book that she had requested. She saw an opening and asked if he could recommend anything he had in stock now that would be in the same genre. Anything to have a few moments of his time. The conversation went on for a few minutes, but was fading out. So she thought she would tell him she was new in town and wanted to know if there were any good places to eat. He offered up a couple of places and then said he had to go walk his dog, but told her to feel free to check back with him in about a week if he had not gotten back to her by then. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. She needed to find something to let him know it was her. She curled up that night in bed with her phone and pulled up the picture she had copied off of his Facebook page and fell asleep, looking at his handsome, smiling face. She awoke a full hour early the next morning, walked to a gift shop, and picked up a small, stuffed German Shepherd puppy. She put a small red bow around his neck and a card that said, Thinking of you. She wrote his name on the outside of the envelope, sealed it, and then placed a bright red kiss on the corner where the stamp would have been. She then went to the coffee shop and sat watching the bookstore until about 30 minutes before he would arrive. She went and carefully placed the card and stuffed animal at the door of the bookstore. Careful not to give away the romance by letting the security camera record her face. This would be the second day's work she would miss, but it was so worth it. And after all, this was her future she was talking about. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. The time crawled until he was at the door. He saw the puppy and the card and an enormous smile spread across his face. He opened the door and walked inside, instantly reaching for his phone. She reached for her phone and waited for his thank you message that she just knew would come, but it never did. That evening, she watched from the park bench around the corner from the store and to her shock, he walked out of the store 
with his arm around a tall, beautiful, blonde girl. She walked him to his car, flirting and caressing his hair. This would not do. She could not be in the way. Nothing could come between she and Alec. No. She told herself that would make it even better when she won his heart. That day, she had decided it was time to see the home they would share. So she waited and followed him to his place. The building was enormous and modern. Huh, we might have to move after the wedding, she giggled. Dreaming of a two-story house with a white picket fence and kids playing in the yard. Maybe it would be okay, though. She needed to see the apartment to know. Maybe she could make it feel like home. As long as she shared it with him. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. Tomorrow she would go to work and leave at lunch. And call in saying she had car problems. Then she would go check out their place to see what she would need to do to make it feel like home. Hello, my name is Alyssa Connor. Hello, my name is Alyssa Connor. Hello, Alyssa Connor. Alyssa Connor. Meet my husband, Alec Connor. She did just that. She contacted the manager of the building, saying she would like to see an empty unit in the building. She met him, looked at an empty apartment, and then asked if she might explore the building on her own to see if it felt like home. He happily agreed and gave her a map of the building and told her if she had any questions to feel free to call him. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. This gave her a great idea. She found a phone in the lobby of the complex and called, saying that she heard a lot of screaming and pleading for help coming from Alec's apartment. She then snuck up the back stairs and watched as the manager opened the door and went in to check on the situation. She quickly managed to get in the door and hide in the coat closet. After he had left, she walked around, looking at the decor. It wasn't bad, but it needed a woman's loving touch to make it feel like home. She then made her way to his bedroom and laid down on his bed, burying her face in his pillows breathing in his scent. She slipped on his robe over her clothes and strolled around taking in everything that made him who he was. She softly caressed his clothes in his closet, sifted through pictures and magazines. She even took note of what kind of food he kept on hand. She lost track of time, and it would not be long before he would be home. As she was about to leave, an idea popped into her head, and she looked around and finally found what she was looking for. A spare apartment key. She was sure he would want her to have it. After all, it would soon be her home, too. Hello, my name is Alyssa Connor. My name Mrs. Alec Connor. The next day, she spent the whole day at work feeling guilty that she had missed this much time with him. She just knew that after they were married, he would want her to quit her job so she could concentrate 
on being his wife and keeping him happy. She got off at five and ran most of the way to the bookstore, slowing down just enough to catch her breath. She managed to slip quietly into the store and busied herself with a book near the back. He walked up to her and asked if there was anything he could help her find and that the store would be closing soon. She replied that she was just killing time. And as she walked to the doors, he glanced up and flashed his dazzling smile. Distracted, she pushed the door open so hard she almost knocked the blonde to the ground. She apologized and shuffled off to watch him leave again. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. They walked out hand in hand. She wrapped her arms around him and kissed him on the lips. They laughed together and cuddled, leaning against the hood of his car. She sheathed with anger. That bitch had to go. Winning him would have been fun, but this was going too far. It was time to get her out of his life for good. Hello, my name is Alyssa Connor. Hello, my name Mrs. is Connor. Alec Hello. Connor. My name is Mrs. Meet my husband. That evening, she went back online and messaged him, asking if he had had any luck with the book request. He replied that he had found a couple of options, but wanted her to come into the store and choose which one she wanted, and he would order it for her. She joyously agreed to meet him at 10 in the morning. She could not sleep at all that night. This was his way of getting time alone with her. She did not have anything that would be good enough for this meeting. So she grabbed her credit card and headed to the mall to find the perfect, sexy, yet tasteful outfit and take care of some loose ends. She spent three hours on her hair and makeup. She had to look perfect. Then she put on the clothes she had chosen at the mall. She had maxed out her credit card, but it was so worth it. This would be the first day of their new lives together. He would always remember her just like this. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. She sat in the coffee shop and watched as he entered the store. She would make him wait a little while to build the anticipation. Finally, she could not wait a moment longer. And as she walked into the store, she fully expected him to embrace her. She was astonished when he only smiled and nodded. How could she have forgotten? He had never really seen her before. She flashed him a smile and said she was there about the book. He had a sudden flash of realization. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. Oh, so nice to finally meet you, Alyssa. If you will just follow me, I will show you what I found for you. He said with a wide smile on his face. She noticed how much brighter his eyes were up close. She could smell the scent of his apartment all over him. 
Her hands trembled, standing so close to him. He pulled up a page in the computer, talking about the options he had found. She did not hear half of what he had said. She was too busy drawing his face into her mind. He was standing so close. She could feel the raw animal attraction between them and leaned closer. Close enough to kiss him if he just turned his head. Her heart was pounding so hard she could not hear anything but her own heartbeat. Just then his telephone rang. He excused himself and stepped away. His face turned suddenly grave, tears brimming in his eyes. She could not hear what was being said, but deep down, she knew something horrible must have happened, judging from the look on his face. He sat on the phone and leaned on the counter with his head in his hands. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. She walked up and softly placed a hand on his shoulder. He seemed to have forgotten she was even there. He jumped back and then came to himself. Is it a bad time? I can come back. She softly asked him. Now he was the one trembling at her touch. She could feel it. I'm sorry. I have to close the store today. A dear friend of mine was killed last night. I'm so sorry, but can we do this another day? Said her future husband. Certainly. Do you need a ride somewhere? You seem too upset to drive right now. I would hate to lose my new book connection this soon. She said this, trying to make him smile. It kind of worked. He gave her a half-hearted smile. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. No. I'll be okay, but thanks. And with that, he gently guided her to the door. As she reached her rental car, a smile crept across her face. Nothing stood between them now. She knew just what she would do now. As soon as she got her car back from the body shop, she would invite him to dinner to thank him for finding the book. The next day, the store was closed with a wreath on the door. She then decided she should quit her job to concentrate on making sure he was well taken care of. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. She drove to his apartment building she sat and watched his window for hours, then days. The evening of the third day, she sent him another message, asking if he was okay, and asking when she could meet up with him to look at the books. He replied that he would be back at the store tomorrow. Tomorrow! She would see him tomorrow. <laughs> she smiled to herself. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. The next day, she borrowed some clothes from a former co-worker and got ready to go see her Alec. She arrived just on time. This time... She did not have anything to wait for. She walked in with a huge smile on her face that faded the instant she saw him. He looked defeated, run down, 
and at least 10 years older than he had only a few days ago. She thought to herself, he needs you now more than ever. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. She talked to him a bit about the books and the upcoming holidays. Talking about the holidays made his face twist in pain. She chose the better of the two books and paid. She was thrilled. Not really about the book, but with the thought of seeing him again to pick it up. She watched him at the store and followed him home every day. She felt he was slowly getting back to himself. Then the call came that she had been waiting on. The book was in. One more trip to the mall. Another amazing dress. Hair. Makeup. And then the bookstore. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. She walked in the store, sweeping in like a starlet from a 1950s movie there to claim her man. They talked a bit about the weather and the decoration that had been added to the area. When she felt there was an opening in the conversation, she asked if he would join her for the evening for dinner as a thank you for finding the book for her, stating that it seemed he could use a little escape today. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. He agreed, and they decided to meet at the Golden Dove. It was so beautiful and romantic. It was perfect. She knew that the bill for this place would be insane. But he was so worth it. The dinner was lovely. They drank and laughed like old friends or lovers. He was drunk when they got ready to leave, so she called a cab and gave them his address. She walked him to his door, telling the driver she would call for another car when she was sure he was safely in bed. She opened the door with his key and helped him change, taking in every inch of his body, careful to touch him softly so as not to disturb the beauty of the moment. He was far too intoxicated to be left alone, so she slipped into one of his shirts and cuddled down next to him to take care of him for the night. Hello, my name is Alyssa Connor. Hello, my name Mrs. is Alec Connor. Connor. Meet my husband, Alec Connor. Shortly before dawn, she slipped out of his bed, got dressed, and slipped out of the apartment. She messaged him telling him what an amazing evening she had had and that they should do it again. Hours later, he replied with a simple, sure, sounds good. She waited for days to hear from him and nothing came. She had to let him know how much she loved him. Mrs. Alec. It took hours for her to find all of the things she needed to prove her love to him. She waited until he went to work at his store, and then she went to his apartment and used the key she had. She changed the sheets on the bed to black satin sheets and chilled the champagne. 
She hung up the wedding dress she had picked out on the back of the closet door, and next to it, she hung the tuxedo she had picked out for him. She spent hours readying their bedroom for their first real night together. After Alex saw what she had done, he would not be able to resist her. And when they woke in the morning, they would fly off to Las Vegas. By this time tomorrow night, she would finally be Mrs. Alec Connor. She arranged the rose petals on the bed and got the champagne glasses ready. Hello, my name is Alyssa Connor. Hello, my name Mrs. is Alyssa Connor. Alec Connor. My name is Mrs. Meet my husband, Alec Connor. She changed into something special that she had chosen just for this evening and sat behind the bedroom door, ready to surprise him. She could feel her heart pounding in her chest. She heard the key turn on the front door. Her Alec was coming home to her. She knew what he had done after work, just like every other day when he left the store. Gone to the kennel, gotten his beloved dog King, taken him to the park for an hour of play. Then he would stop and get a coffee with sugar and vanilla cream that he would not even touch until he got home. That coffee would be in his hands right now. Mrs. Alec Connor. Mrs. Alec. Her hands shook with excitement. She could hear him sorting the mail and checking his messages. The time was so near. Then he walked into the bedroom. And as he did, she swiftly clicked the handcuffs around his wrist. Hello. My name is Alyssa Connor. Hello. My name Mrs. is Alec Connor. My Mrs. Meet my husband, Alec Connor. After it was noticed by some regular customers that the bookstore had not been open for days, the police were called. They went to his apartment, and there they found that Alec had been tied to the bed and beaten to death. The only clues found were a wedding dress hanging on the door, half-empty bottle of champagne, and a note on the mirror saying, I loved you so much. The investigation led to a girl that was seen on security cameras, but no one seemed to know who she was. Six months later, an attractive yet quiet young woman sat in a park on her lunch break several states away, watching a handsome dark-haired man playing frisbee with his dog in the park. And she was certain that she had never seen a more amazing man in her life. Mrs. Bradley Johnson. Mrs. Bradley Johnson. Six months later, 